Hello everyone, it's Anya from your favorite AI group. I know we're not at 200 yet, but we are your favorite, even though we're little, we're strong, and we're brand new, and we're growing. And I just want to say thank you for being a part of our community. I wanted to take a moment just to come here today to show you a little trick in Canva. Now, in order to utilize this, you have to have Canva Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you might not be able to access it at this time. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. And it's the extract tool, the extract option that's offered as a part of their new suite. And I've got my blank page ready and I'm going to be playing with this image right here. She's very cute. And what I'm going to do is extract her from the image in the background. I know normally we would use the background remove. That's uh, another option. But since they've updated, we now have the extract option that we can utilize. So I've got her engaged right here. I'm going to go up here and click the edit photo. And you see in the Magic Studio, they've got all these new options. They've got the background remover, which was there before. Um, Magic Eraser, uh, Magic Expand, Grab Text, magic grab and magic edit so we're going to be using the magic grab today so i just click that and i've got my image selected and it's going to do the extraction and you see it's finished because we've got two photos we've got this one which is the background and we've got her and she came from right there so in two seconds it's extracted the main image from the background so we're going to go ahead select that and delete it because we've got no more use for that and so she's there she's extracted you can place her wherever you want pull her up come here click the background select the color option and go down and you'll see some of the colors that are actually in the photo itself and you can just select and she becomes one but another thing I'd like you to do, you see her complexion right here? I'm going to make her a little more melanated. So with her selected, I'm going to go back to Edit Photo, and I'm going to go down here to the filters. And this is her with no filter. This is her with Belvedere, which is a little too pink. And then I'm going to select the Fresco, which gives her a little melanin. And with her being a little more melanated i'm going to change the background because now she kind of fuses into the background so select background and go to the color palette and scroll down and maybe we'll make her no mm, no i don't like that mm. no well that looks kind of cute gray so I'm going to make her gray. And one other quick thing. So I've got the background gray. And I've got her extracted from the original background. And do you see here where her hat is kind of cropped? What I'm going to do is utilize another feature of the Magic Studio. And I'm going to expand her hat just a little bit. So come into the studio click magic expand and it gives you an option to select the size you're either going to do free form the whole page or you can select the aspect ratio one to one which is a square landscape 16 by 9 portrait 9 by 16 and so on and so forth so what we're going to do is i'm going to let's see i don't know what free form does but select the whole page and then click magic expand and watch it do its magic and it'll expand her beanie on her head and what it does is it gives you four options and then you just select the best option that works for you and hopefully they're not janky okay so that's option number one that's option number two i like that i like option number two Oh, I love option number three. Oh, this is the one we're going to go with. So we're going to go with option number four. Let's take a quick look at them again. So that's number four. That's number three. That's kind of cute too, but no. 
Number two, number one. So number one is definitely no. Number two is a no, no. Number three is okay, but I'm going to go with number four. Okay, so her hat has been extended. And then you come down here and you click done and you've got your finished image. So what it also did was it added a background to the image. So we're going to further extract that. We're going to do the background remover and remove the black background. And there she is once again. So two tricks. We extracted her from the original background and then we expanded her hair, hair beanie. And she looks awesome. Just get your sizing the way you want it and then she's okay. Good. So to further finish this image and make it into something that we can actually use for an affirmation or anything like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text box. So select text in your vertical toolbar over here. Click add a heading and we're going to say, I hope you're having a nice day. Not I hope, just hope. Hope you're having, I can't spell, an awesome day exclamation mark okay and just take down the font size just a little bit because it's too it's too big wrap that take it down a little bit more That on another line yeah so we've got that hope you're having let's change that it's too it's too long a great day put everything on a different line awesome okay good and um now let us let's change the font because Canva Sans is just like a default font. So let's let's make something something pretty. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we've got hope you're having a nice day. And what we can do is we go up here to the spacing, which gives you the option to either change the letter spacing or the line spacing. We're going to just add some space between the lines. And just yep, just like that. And it's a little more spaced out. Hope you're having a great day. And in addition to that, we're going to change the color of the font to maybe something. Yeah, something bright because you're having a great day. So you want something bright and add a little bit of an effect. Click effect. Go up here. Maybe an outline. That's cute. Uh, maybe glitch. I don't like that. Splice. No. A shadow. Mm, let's let's go back to outline. Outline is outline is the best option so far. So that looks nice. Hope you're having a great day. Make sure that you've got you've got it the way you want. It looks kind of good. And then the last thing I would do is I would add her watermark. So that's my watermark. So what I'll do is just duplicate it. And drag it up here and I'll just put it right here make it a little bit smaller I wish I was a little bit smaller I wish I was taller okay how does that look that looks nice so hope you're having a great day my watermark is there the image is there her hat is nicely expanded she's extracted from the background and those are several tricks that uh, i showed you in a very quick short amount of time so go out be great create and if you've got any questions make sure you just hit me up i'm always available I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. If you know, 
you know my phone's going off. All right, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.